Okay, hopefully this will be the final video um, and we're just going to put in the front of this uh, this ground here which is ferns, uh, green and this beautiful um, well terracotta colour. So I've done the uh, I've done the uh, the sun coming through the trees. I want to reinforce some of the trees uh, and just tidy up um, around the front and the top. Um, we've got the sky holes in there, um, and I just want to, like I say, just pick up some of the lights that's on this forest floor. Okay, so I'm going to take um, and it's a it's a yellow, um, it's a, a like a yellow ochre colour. And I'm just going to put in, so it's a matter of building up different colours. And I'm scrumbling this over the top. I'm not going particularly, um, I'm not pressing on at all. But I want some sunshine in those um, sunshine um, corridors, shall we call them. Uh, so I'm just going to put in some of these lovely colours. Now if you find that they... Um, are too bright just touch your finger and I'm just touching it like that and it just dulls it a little bit which is quite good right okay so let's um again in the corridors we're going to call those light corridors I'm going to use all the sunshine uh, of the colors that I've got in there so green and it's a bright green okay now it will go over some of that because the light is going past the tree and we'll tidy that up if we do go into another video we will but I will do it uh, and I'll put them on together because we ought to be finishing this now I'm gonna um, the next video for my patreon site uh, will be done on patreon videos for those of you who are on my Patreon site. Um, it, it's just easier to do a video on there. And that is patreon.com slash forward uh, forward slash MJ Roberts Studios. Two S's in the middle. Um, and you will be able to join more tips, worksheets, challenges, and more videos on there right so I've just got some greens on there so it's just starting to lighten um, some of those colors uh, don't be afraid to put in um, some shadows under there because it's a bit it's a bit um, at the moment a little bit all one tone so we just need to put in some shadows underneath. You will find that you'll be building up um, you'll be building up layer and layer of colours. Okay. That is absolutely fine. So it's just a matter of building up this uh, this forest floor which is what we're doing at the moment uh, use your photograph as reference and let's get some nice light colors in that uh, in that corridor over there there's a lovely fern just peeping out on the, on the top of that we're not really at detail stage, although we try, we're try. we starting to drum down into uh, into detail, but there are still some areas where um, we need some blocking in and some definition, tonal values. Nice light up that tree there with the bracken. There's a lot around there. So your photograph, don't forget, is just... A reference you don't have to do it verbatim um, you'll find it very hard to do it verbatim anyway because obviously it's very detailed um, so just building up that forest floor and you notice I'm not really coming down here a lot well we can do that 
as we go along. I'm probably going to um, end this photo, uh, this uh, painting around about there, I think, anyway. Um, sometimes I do that. Depends how the, the painting pans out. Okay. Oh, we're good. We're still filming. Wonderful. Right. Uh, I'm just going to put some more of a darker, darker tone in there. Remember, three, three or more different tones gives um, an area or something, shape and form. So as we're still blocking in, I'm still going to need those three, those three tones. So this is a mid, a mid colour. And, and this just helps to give it some form around those areas. Okay. Right, so I keep switching between um, the bright, the bright fern and the mids. And we, we do need that dark, that dark tone in there. Which I believe is that one. Ah, it's a little bit redder, but it's, it's, you can see all I'm doing is just going over, using the photograph as reference and just making marks. Okay, we do have some really light areas, um, which are got sunshine on, so it's just a lighter colour of these it's gone up one or, or a couple of tones from that and, and that will just give you your your real lights on these sunshines on these <laughs> on these ferns well the sunshine on the ferns is what i'm trying to say okay so but be very um sparing with that because that it is highlights and if you do it all over it will no longer look like highlights now when you swap to the green leaves um you can see there's light on the top of those so you want a really pale really really pale um green to go over the top to give you the sun the sunlight okay so don't just go over with all this this is the fern color the lightest tone so there's a different color for the sunlight on the the ferns Sorry, the grasses. Okay. Some of it is really, really light. So I will reserve white for very, very, uh, the lightest part of the picture, which, which is this. But some of those, very, very sparingly, I'll just show you. Just where those ferns are being touched by that light and you see it's very sparingly done because it will it will add in interest and the light to the picture but if you do it too much um, you lose the, the, the feeling of it it just loses its impact so just where the light hits the top of the the ferns a little bit over here not a lot a bit down where that light's coming through there and you see I'm just using them as dots um, and nothing particularly um, brilliant about them it's just that I'm just picking out where they are using that photograph as reference if you, if you do this without using a photograph, you you wouldn't know where every, all these light bits are. Right. Okay. I'm going back to the uh, the light fern colour and just put some more on there just to uh, help to break up. Those darks and medium tones of fern. 